Hello, people, and uh, welcome to the first video that I've attempted to make since they uh, redid Lion's Arch and all the traits. So, this will be an interesting experience. Uh, mainly because um, the trait changes have made a lot of professions better, have not changed some, and have kind of destroyed two of the professions, in my opinion, and I'm on one of those two. Yay! Um, so anyway, yeah, this is a baby toon that you have not met. Yes, she is level 24, but she ate one of those um, level 20 tomes that they keep giving me, so she's actually more like level 4. So anyway, um, this is Nocturna Stoneheart, tribute to the character that will never be on the TV show. And yes, I gave her Scarlet's hair. Not that I really like Scarlet's hair, but I hate almost every single Savari default hairstyle except the long ponytail. So I gave her this one just because it's different. Anyway, um, as I was saying, she is pretty much a baby tune. She's only really level 4, but she ate a tome. So going to be interesting to say the least. Uh, and also what I was saying earlier is this is the first video I've made since the trait change and they gave her a line that I have absolutely no interest in to start with and she doesn't have enough points to get the three lines I want so there's that. <clears throat> but there's also the fact that I haven't really complained much about the trait changes for the most part. However, there are two professions that I absolutely loathe since the trait change when I used to actually kind of like them. Um, those two professions are Elementalist and, perf and um, Guardian. And this is a Guardian. Now, the problem I have with Elementalist and Guardian, both of which I used to like, Elementalist actually used to be one of my three favorites. Guardians was just shy of my top four. It was my fifth choice. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat, of course, is always killing me. But anyway... Ever since the trait change, uh, Guardians and Elementalists basically die within two seconds of every fight because they apparently have no health whatsoever now that the traits have changed or something. Because ever, now every time I play my Elementalist or my Guardian, they die within three seconds. And um, she's about to do a part of a story which was hard before that. So, it shall be interesting shall be interesting. It is the level 20 story. Intercepting the Night of Embers. This is the story that hinted at the idea that there are other Silvaris besides the ones from the Pell Tree. And yes, hmm, isn't that an interesting storyline considering what we now know? Because this was actually two years ago that this story was originally concocted. Three years ago. So, they had been planning this whole Silvari thing for a while now. But yeah, this is the storyline that deals with the fact that there are other Silvaris that didn't come from the Pell Tree. So anyway, um, all that aside, she is a baby tune, and she hasn't mapped even the cities yet. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about doing a video with her just mapping the new Lion's Arch, because she only has, like, She's been to Lion's Arch, but only from, like, the auction house to the guild bank. Just that little section right there. Because I haven't mapped New LA on any of my tunes. But all my baby tunes, who are all, like, level 20-something now, because they keep giving me those level 20 tomes for my one-year birthday tunes. But anyway, she hasn't mapped any of the cities yet. Which means I'm going to have a long walk to her story, which is up there. So, she might even level before I get there, at this rate. But anyway... <clears throat> Apologies now, I will be dying a lot, because as I said, ever since the trait change, Guardians and Elementalists cannot do anything without dying at all. Something looks at them and they die, it's kind of ridiculous, because like I said, Elementalist was one of my three favorites, and now I can barely stand playing Elementalist, and I can barely stand playing Guardian, because they die within three seconds. So this is going to be interesting, because as I said, it's a hard part of the story too, even before this trait change has kind of destroyed Guardian. And that's what she is, a Guardian. And now she's a Guardian with destroyed traits and a line that I don't even want. But I have no points to get the lines I want. So, it is going to be a very interesting endeavor. 
it's going to be basically a lot of me dying and my throat is really really killing me so I'll probably a lot of me clearing my throat and coughing and everything else but <clears throat> this is like the only time I have to record as usual so here I am Let's get back there and yes she's got ugly armor on too usually I trans ugly armor but I've only got like nine trans charges left so because now they added back in all the missing parts of the story which I'm happy about you still only get them every 10 levels, but they added it back in all the missing parts of the story. So most of my tunes are now doing story. So <clears throat> I haven't really been mapping as much as I used to because almost all my tunes have parts of story to do. Okay, it is down there. Oh, and did you see my new mini walking around there? He's for the Winter's Day Skins collection, and he's my favorite mini. I only have four, but that's mini Skritaclaws. And yesterday, actually, um, <clears throat> I opened the locked bandit chest in the home instance, and after it was open, he was actually, what are you doing, woman? He was actually standing inside the, the uh, bandit chest. I guess he was looking for shinies and stuff, stuff, stuff. But anyway... But yeah, that's Mini Skritaclaws. About the only Mini I like. I've got like four, because they're all count bound. I have the Hawk, the Snow Owl, Queen Jenna for my first birthday, which I guess is okay, whatever. And then Mini Skritaclaws for the Winner's Day skin, we weapon skin and stuff. But anyway. <clears throat> I don't even remember what I was talking about. But, yeah. I haven't been mapping as much, so I don't have as many trans charges as I used to. Oh, I don't know. There was something else I was going to say, too. I don't even remember. I got distracted by getting attacked. Okay, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I don't know what, what happened. Because I don't recall them saying that they were changing any of the health, health points or vitality or base health or any of that. But... For Elementalist and Guardian, it seems like they now no longer have any health whatsoever at all. It's horrible. But anyway, <clears throat> I think I was talking about the fact that she has ugly armor. And I only have nine trans charges. And there's very few heavy armor skins that are tolerable looking. There's a couple here and there. I could have her running around in exemplars attire, I suppose. But Oh, well. Ugh. I am so going to get killed. Especially when we get to the story. Because it was rough even before this BS. And yes, I'm one of the only people that probably uses Scepter on Guardian. She also has another weapon, too. Yeah, she has the Great Sword, which is okay. But I try to use range, if at all possible. Because I can't dodge! As you can probably tell if you've watched any of my videos, when I'm fighting, my tune barely moves at all. Because you use the same fingers to fight and move. And it makes it kind of rough. Unless, of course, you have the super special mouse with all the number keys on it. Like... 95% of the players apparently have, unlike me. And I really do want to get that mouse just to see how big of a difference it's going to make. But, it's like 40 bucks. And I just wasted 50 bucks on Heart of Thorns. So, yeah, I'm not even going to get into that debate. I wasn't one of the people bitching and complaining about it being 50 bucks. I don't really care. That's how much I assumed it was going to be, 40 or 50. So, I wasn't and all freaked out by it, but I don't know, and they're supposedly going to give us a character slot now to make up for the fact that everybody's freaking out. I still haven't got the extra character slot, so when that's going to happen is anybody's guess. I guess I could turn this on even though I'm not doing the heart. But anyway. So yeah. With the way I harvest stuff, you know, I'm most likely going to level before 
I get to Story, because it's really far away, and she hasn't mapped even the city, is little in Brisbane. Oh, come on, dude. It's anywhere near you. Actually, don't really mind Guardian too much underwater. Of course, I'm talking before the trait change. Haven't really done much with them since the trait change. But anyway. Yes, lots of stuff to harvest. I can never go past this river because there's 88,000 stupid clams that I don't even need. Oh, they're attacking that person. Oh, well. Why are you coming to me? Because we're attacking the other person. I was just helping. But yeah, oh, I know what I was going to say about how I'm mostly doing stories on most of my chains now that they put back all the missing parts of story. One thing I find interesting is the um, level 60 story. I mentioned it a couple videos ago about how in the level 60 story you see the vision of Orr and you see the future and you go through and you talk to all the members of Destiny's Edge or you watch them talk, I guess. Well, there was a line in that part of the story. Could you please not make me click that 15 times? But anyway, there was a line in that part of the story. The level 60 fit vision of the future in Or that part. There was a line that stuck with me. I thought was the most interesting thing that happened in that story. I won't spoil it. I've already talked about it in another video. But it was something Kaith says in The Vision of War. And you're watching Destiny's Edge chat. Or complain at each other, more accurately. But Kaith has a very interesting line. Oh, come on already! But anyway, um, she has a very interesting line that stuck with me forever. And it was the first thing I thought of when I was doing Living World Season 2 and Kaith did some unexpected things. And that line that I'm referring to from the Level 60 story that was the very first thing I thought of when I was doing Living World Season 2, which I finished on two tunes now, but it was the very first thing I thought of, and they have now cut that line. I am a little perturbed by that because I found it to be the most interesting line in that entire instance and it gave a lot of insight and foreshadowing into Living World Season 2 and they cut the line it's no longer in the Level 60 story it's very annoying that they cut that and you probably, if you've done the Level 60 story and you've done Living World Season 2 you probably know exactly what line I'm talking to. It's when she's talking to Fallon. <clears throat> but anyway, they cut that line. And it's no longer in the level 60 story. And if you really want to know, you can always watch um, videos on YouTube that people have done of the level 60 story that are more than a month old that were from like longer than a month ago. And that line's in there. Because I was actually watching somebody do the personal story, but the, the videos were from like 2012. And you can see how different the personal story had been for the longest time. But in that you can see that they still have that line that Kate says to Fallon that I think foreshadows a lot of Living World Season 2. But, um, yeah, it's still in there. But also another thing that you can see is um, there have been lots of little changes to personal story. Now for a long time they had like cut out like 70% of the steps. Now the, all those steps are back but they've changed things here and there. And it's interesting. Like the one thing that I really wish they wouldn't have changed other than them cutting Kate's line that annoys me. But um, when you watch, I don't want to go into Scritzburg, but there's ore. But when you watch um, old Living World videos, 
or not living real personal story, but he is. In like 2012, and I think even 2013, because that's when I started playing, um, and when you were in story instances, you used to get loot from all the mobs in story instances. And you no longer get loot from any mobs at all in any story instance ever. I mean, the rewards at the end are much better now than they used to be. I will give them that. And I guess that's, I guess, how they justify the fact that none of the story mobs get loot anymore. But it's still kind of annoying. Because I used to remember getting loot all the time in story instances. And if you watch any videos, you can see that they did used to give loot in 2012, 2013, and now they don't. So that's kind of a negative change, in my opinion. But anyway. <coughs> Pardon me, my throat is killing me. Ugh. But anyway. Someday she'll get to her stupid story and then get killed. Because like I said, it was hard before. And I seriously, I do not get what has happened with Elementalist and Guardian. I don't get it. Because, like I said, a lot of the professions have gotten better. I'd say a bunch have stayed pretty much equal to how they used to be. And then there's Guardian and Elementalist, and I don't know what the heck happened. But, for some reason, now, it's a little more obvious in the higher level zones, I will say. But, yeah, you pretty much die very, very easily when you're on Guardian Elementalist now. And that never was a problem for me with those classes before. So, it's very strange. But anyway. So basically, I've been having to buy a lot of new gear, specifically for Elementalist and Guardian, some other ones as well. But I've had to buy a lot of new gear and give up a lot of DPS to try and up toughness and vitality. And it's really annoying me because all my tunes pretty much were Zerker. And now, I have to keep giving up more and more DPS for toughness and vitality. But anyway. Let's go get killed, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get killed. Because, like I said, this was tough before before they changed it so that Guardians and Elms die when something looks at them. So, it's going to be interesting. Alright. I guess I'll let the, them talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that an automatic reaction when I saw Kaith? But anyway. <laughs> yeah, you guys talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, Keith, what aren't you telling us? Hmm. Sounds like Living World Season 2. Yeah, because you were told. Okay, anyway. Um, what about that other cave? You did some stuff in that other cave. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, you might know, Keith. Uh, yes, you mentioned those other dragons, didn't you? Do you see this? So much of this foreshadows all of Living World Season 2. And this was originally, this story was originally written three years ago. So they've had this whole more drama stuff planned for a long time. Like since day one. And this is an interesting story to do now that you've seen like Living World Season 2. This is an interesting story to look back on. 
because there's so many hints and clues. It's just crazy. And of course, my buff has worn off again. And yes, I'm poor again. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go do something. <clears throat> I kept the disguises from Joy's End. Dress up, act like you're escorting me, and we'll get past the guards. If we only have one disguise, how will this work? She's stone heart. She's not very nice. If they ask, tell them I'm your prisoner and be surly, very surly. It'll work. Fine, just give me the clothes. Alright. That's it. Make me wear some stupid helms. You can't see my cute little pigtails. But anyway. <laughs> Nightmare disguise. Looks like the shadow refuge icon, but okay. Not that I ever use that, but apparently every other thief on the planet does. But anyway. Enter Beveldom's Rise. Halt. I haven't seen you two before. What do you want? We have critical information about the Harbinger, you twig. Get out of our way. Really, the Knight of Embers must be expecting you. Quickly go to her and tell her what you know. <clears throat> Come on, Malik. And stay back there with Kaith. Who knows what she'll do to you. But anyway. <clears throat> ask, ask when what Kaith will do. If you have any doubts. But anyway. This part of the story sucks. <clears throat> when the Night of the Ember shows up, we're all gonna die. Literally. Because I almost died when I was on a tune that had health points, unlike this one. What am I looking at? You said take a look at that. What? What? What am I looking at? What are you doing here? Okay. Um, eliminate the guards. Alright, great. Because I wasn't dying fast enough. As soon as the Knight of Embers gets here, gonna be dead. What do you mean that's enough violence for now? It's you, Kate. What are you aiming at, woman? Do you even know what you're aiming at? I don't know what she's attacking. Apparently she targeted somebody. At least we got cute little scrits helping us. I guess they saw my mini scritta claws and decided, you know, to help out. Alright. Yeah, for some reason, this guardian has managed to live slightly longer than my level 60 and my level 80, and 80 guardian, but I don't know. Those two seem to die awfully easily, especially my 80. Yes, especially my 80. My 80 dies quicker than the lower level guardians. But the level 60 dies plenty. This one, I guess she just hasn't been up against hard enough enemies or something. I don't know. But Knight of Embers ought to kill her good. Oh, goody lag. Yay. That was fun. I love getting lagged in the middle of a fight. It's the funnest thing ever. What is setting me on fire? Knight of Embers isn't even here yet. See, look at her health. This is freaking ridiculous. Couple hits and she's almost dead. I don't want to confront the Knight of Embers. She sucks. And she's going to call a bunch of friends first. Set everything on fire. Not that I've done this before. Yay, fire time. And call your friends because you can't fight your own battles. Yes, I've got Malik and Kaith with me, but they hardly do anything. That doesn't count. What? Where'd you come from? I thought I was supposed to fight the other one first. What are you doing? Huh? What? Who am I dealing with? Lam... Lamnia? Lania? I would pronounce it Lania, but it sounded like she pronounced it Lania. Oh, not you. 
How did you get her chicky chick? Her. Ugh. It's like I can't even concentrate because I know that I'm going to die because apparently guardians and elementalists no longer have any health. not immune to burning. Figured that might have been a possibility, considering. What? Retreat? What do you mean retreat? And she's invulnerable again. Oh, another friend. I forget how many friends she has. It's either two or three. Dream Eater? Okay. These people's names. Oh, she actually almost dead? Wow. That's surprising. Did they, did they nerf her? I'm on fire in the cutscene. That's promising. Okay. See? No loot. No loot anywhere to be seen. Where'd you come from? Fallon, wouldn't you? are better. I'll give them that much. Alright. Does that mean she's done with story until level 30? Ugh, goody. Means I have to find something else for her to do. Alright, what's going on with this stuff they gave me? Oh, alright. That has power on it. This one you can select stats for. That one you can select stats for. Now this is rough. I used to always go with Berserkers. Now I don't even know what to go with. Toughness. Vitality. Ugh. This used to be easy. Seriously, this used to be easy. Guess we'll put toughness on one. Vitality on the other. Instead of getting anything that will actually help us with DPS, because now, <laughs> oh, now guardians die within three seconds. It's just too fun. Okay, um, knights, is that one? No. Soldiers. Power, toughness, vitality. Carry on. Power, vitality, condition damage. She does burn on most of her hits, but... Power, toughness, healing power. Vitality, healing power, condition damage. I used to know how to pick stats. This sucks. Okay, um... Power, toughness, vitality... Power, vitality, ferocity. Oh, I don't know. You used to always get power, precision, ferocity, but now... Uh, put toughness on one. I guess I'll put vitality on that one. She's going to replace them in two seconds anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway. 
This is so annoying. I used to be able to pick traits. Now I can't. I never used spear anyway. It's exactly the same, except it probably looks better. As a matter of fact, I know it probably looks better. Because it's a Zavari armor. Yes, it looks way better. I'm going to put an upgrade on it, but I don't care. It looks way better. Alright. Gonna have to put upgrades on all of these things. Uh, I guess I'll replace the one that already has toughness. I don't know. So I need to upgrade all this stuff. And I randomly pick dye colors every day, and for some reason she wanted to be all in red today. It doesn't really look that great with those stupid shoulders and that stupid pair of pants. I could use trans charges. I could. I like the shirt, but the shoulders and the pants just kind of ruin it. I can hide the shoulders, I suppose. Pants do sort of ruin it. Whatever. Anyway, I need to upgrade all this crap. And then figure out what the heck I'm going to do with her. So the shirt, the shoes, and the ring all need upgrades on them. Mm, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Alright. Can we actually salvage any of this? Amazing. Alright. No gems. That's kind of lame, but it's the only upgrade I have on hand right now, so I'll use it for now. Should put it on the boots. Oh well, it doesn't matter, I guess. So we still need an upgrade for the ring and the boots, but yes, I need to sell that crap too, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Okay. So if she's done with story, the next thing she would be doing is mapping Divinity's Reach. And I'm wondering if I should just map the new Lion's Arch instead. Although I usually do that city last, because it's, like, the one that usually takes forever. But, I don't know. I'm being indecisive. Alright. So. What are you doing laying here dead? What the heck? I can't leave you alone for five minutes. You just fall over dead. Stupid non-player corpse. But anyway. Okay. Mini skirt claws. Alright, where do I want to go next? I should be mapping Divinity's Reach. That's the next thing on her list to do. I don't know. I don't think she's ever even been to Divinity's Reach, honestly. Like I said, I was thinking about mapping Lion's Arch, because it's the new Lion's Arch. Let's see, that all I have in that. Well, I guess I have three waypoints and three points of interest and that's it. I don't know. I've never mapped Lion's Arch, the new one. Well, I might as well go get upgrades for her other items and then we'll decide. See, I didn't know how long it would take me to finish story and if I'd leveled before. So now I've got to devise a new plan because she finished story without dying somehow. And now she hasn't leveled yet either. I normally would map Divinity's Reach, but I know everybody would rather probably rather see the new Lion's Arch. Because most of my tunes already had it mapped. So it's only the baby tunes that have to map the new Lion's Arch. Yeah, she's got four and five. <laughs> no vistas. Oh, that'll be interesting, considering me and Vistas have never gotten along. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on! Jeez, the loading screen didn't get any faster, did it? <sighs> I love loading screens. You know how much I love loading screens. 
And they're even longer when you're recording, it seems. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Ugh. My tune's gonna die of old age before the sliding screen goes away. Forget leveling. She's gonna be withered and dead. She's a plant. She can wither easily. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god. I hate loading screens. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be mapping Lion's Arch, because I cannot stand the thought of going through another loading screen. <laughs> and if I had to go to Vinny's Reach, which already has infamously long loading screen, after waiting on this 20-hour loading screen, which has gone on so long, it's probably coming close to disconnecting me at this point. Ugh. Ridiculous. You, chick, buy my junk. Alright. So. All those lovely, lovely upgrades I have just waiting on me. Alright, that's level 20. That's level 20. Toughness. Power, vitality, ferocity. Put condition on that and power on that, I guess. <clears throat> I guess. I don't know. Condition and power. As soon as I find them. <clears throat> like I said, my throat is killing me, so. Alright. Watch me get the stupid glitch now that makes you have to exit the zone or re-log re in order to get it to show up. Power and vitality. Let's see. What's her toughness and vitality looking like? I guess I'll put the power vitality one on there. See, that's where I just have all my upgrades just sitting and waiting. See, normally I don't really care that much about condition damage on Guardian, but technically her F1 skill <clears throat> does cause burning on all her attacks, so. Okay. Yes, you can now. I actually have done that once. I've, um, Soloed Zaitan, the new Zaitan. <clears throat> See, I'm being helpful. But anyway. Okay. So. Yeah, that's where I just have all my things sitting and. Like I said, it's really hard for me to figure out what the heck to do with stats now. But, okay. This is going to be an interesting experience. Mapping the new Lion's Arch until I level. Oh, this is going to be a problem already, isn't it? Oh, God. I'm horrible at jumping in vistas. Where are you, Vista? You're up there somewhere. No. I guess I'll just keep going until I find something. Okay, that one wasn't that horrible. But anyway, let's look at all these lovely new vistas. <coughs> Again, my throat is just killing me. Ugh, I, I seriously am struggling to even talk at this point. But it's only the only time I can record, so here we go. We're going to try it. I will suffer for this alleged art. <laughs> I know, nobody cares, nobody's watching this. Eastern Ward Waypoint. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get all of it mapped, because this place is just freaking huge. Alright. Woohoo, at 20%. Go me. But yeah. Normally I map Divinity's Reach and all the other cities before I do Lion's Arch. But I really do not want to wait on another loading screen, and she's done with story, so here we go. And besides, now you get to see the scenic new LA. Isn't that exciting? I actually haven't seen... Um... Yeah, then. I'm not gonna say a word. But anyway, I... <laughs> I actually haven't seen much of Lion's Arch. My friend dragged me through the Karka hunt. It was horrible. Um, 
But yeah, I haven't seen much more of it other than that. There's another vista somewhere. I have to keep looking at this thing every two seconds. Okay, do you still have to... It's like in the middle of the water. Do you still use the little gun from the Ashura to get to that? Because it wasn't there before. I'm so confused. Okay, let's go through the buggy ground that you can walk through. Freaky, freaky. Anyway. I'm already bad at navigating and I'm horrible at vistas. So, it's going to be fun and amusing for everyone. Clyg? You're the gun dude, aren't you? Aha! It is the same. Okay. Yeah, give me your gun. Okay, so this one is still the same. It's just in a slightly different place, or at least it seems like it's in a different place. Yes, I have ground targeting off because it's freaking annoying, that stupid green circle. It's freaking annoying because then you have to click everything twice. But anyway. Woohoo, look at the pretty new lion's arch. I don't know, like I said, I haven't seen any of these vistas yet. I haven't mapped it other than just getting dragged around looking for carcas. And that was on my other character anyway, not this one. It was one of my it was my world complete tune, so she already had everything supposedly mapped. Um it's there. But how do I get up there? Can I get there from the water? Probably not. <coughs> I guess we'll give it a try. Like I said, my throat is really killing me. Really, really killing me. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, that looks suspiciously step-like. We'll go that way. I Seriously, I'm flying blind here. I've never mapped New L.A. If there wasn't a Karka here, I haven't even seen it. Why are you still wearing your Aqua Breather, Psycho? Thank you. And why were your eyes red? Are you getting corrupted by Mordormoth as we speak? But anyway. Oh. Ew. Ew. I don't think I like that vista. That just looks nasty. Okay. There's going to be a lot of falling. I don't like the looks of you, Vista. At all. You look evil. Um... Now is that X? How'd you get there? Um, 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 let's see. Can we go up this way? Oh, I'm hopeless at this crap. I guess that's how you get to it. Oh, watch, I'll probably miss it anyway. Because I'm horrible at this. Horrible! Oh, please let there be an invisible floor. Ha ha! What an invisible floor that was. Okay. Apparently we've been caught. We're the catch of the day. Hanging in a big old fishing net. That seems safe. That was amazing luck. Trying to figure out where the stupid vista was and then landing on an invisible floor. I don't know. I'm going to be looking at the map a lot. Alright. Somewhere in there. I have to go back down and back up. Ugh. My plant girl is getting overwatered. Hardy har har. Okay. Grand Piazza. Or whatever it is. Why are we talking about Tibble? I'm only level 24. I don't know about what happens to Tibbled. Wink, wink. Although Tibble was the least annoying one, which is amazing. Considering I don't generally like Chars in any shape or form. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my gosh, my throat. Seriously, it's so hard for me to even talk right now. Alright, moving on, moving on. Hey, look, it's a red Dorito. What's that red Dorito stand for? I have way too much money and I think I'm important. That's what it stands for. But anyway. <laughs> um, they really like having me jump around on crates, don't they? Um, invisible floors everywhere! Invisible floors for everyone and how the hell do I get up there? 
What the bloody hell? I can't get up there. Oh, Jesus. I do not like this vista. I do not like it at all. What the hell? How are you supposed to get up there? How are you supposed to get up there? Are you supposed to jump down on it from something? What the freaking hell is going on with this vista? Um, yeah. There is no physical way to jump on that. I don't even think there's a way to get down there from the roof. Is there? Um. Okay. Maybe somebody will be nice and help. Okay, seriously, how do you get on this vista? I don't even think a speed boost will help here. Okay. Okay, this is annoying. This vista should not be this hard. to ask in map chat. I'm invisible. Will anybody see me? Alright. I went invisible. So that nobody's trying to talk to me while I'm recording. Watch them tell me I gotta go through the jumping puzzle or some crap. to go into the jumping puzzle. I'm apparently never mapping Lion's Arch again. Okay, somebody answer me. Maybe they really can't see me because I'm invisible. Seriously, when you're invisible, can anybody see you talk? Because I can see it in chat. <laughs> oh. This was not supposed to be this hard. Over where? Where are you going? Mr. Charman. Oh jeez, this doesn't look fun at all. You're already a char and you've got those huge wings on. So can you be able to see where I'm going? see this working. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Somebody helped me. You're one of the only two good chars in the world. <laughs> okay. So, if anybody was having trouble figuring that out, now you know. Not worth it. No vista's worth that much trouble. Okay. <laughs> Air flip rage quit? Okay, whatever. Oh, yay. Alright, so one nice person in the world. Yay, them. 
All right. I've got the black wings. I could be obnoxious and put those on. <laughs> anyway. I mean, they look cool, but they're a little obnoxious after a while. All right. Nowhere, nowhere. All right. See, normally I had a path plotted out, but now the entire city is different. Mm. Where is this Western River? Mm. I'm not having happy thoughts about this vista. It looks like it might be perturbing. Um, up. Up. Up? How do I get up? I don't know. Up, up, up. Let me up. More up. Lots of up. Okay. Is this the like aerodrome or whatever? Mm, Crow's Nest Tavern, that's what it is. Odd. I don't recall Crow's Nest Tavern looking like this, but okay. Um, Vista, Vista, Vista. Ugh. Ugh. I didn't like the looks of you, Vista. How, how, how? Oh, I, they hurt my head so much. Um, um, where, when, how? Uh, there's obviously some way to get up there. Um, I don't think I can jump up on those plants. I can try it, but I have a feeling I'm just gonna fall and die. Yeah, I can't get up there. That's way too high. Um,. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't like these new vistas. I do not like them at all. Um, is there a way up from over there? Crawling over the roof thing? Maybe? Maybe? Jump around on your tables because that's good manners. Alright, please let this be the way because it's the only guess I got. Um, and it's not even looking that promising. Um, um, that is one big jump. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, yeah, that doesn't look makeable either. Oh boy. More invisible floors. I really don't think I can make that jump. I don't even think she has any kind of weird speed boost. Oh, no. Um, can I jump on that? Oh, God. This is painful. Alright. Let's try this again. We'll try to jump on that stupid little post. I don't see that working either. Yeah, this does not look safe. Can I just walk across that? Wow, I can walk across that. But that looks too high to jump on. Oh, come on! That's gotta be the way! It's gotta be the way! Let me read this. I think I only need like one more of those. I just don't know which one. Oh god, this sucks. That's got to be the way to get to it, though. That has got to be the way. Trying to take shortcuts. Oh my god, woman. See, I'm just getting frustrated now. Do I cross this? Can I walk across that? That does not look walk crossable. Oh. Oh, this sucks. Oh my god. I should be falling off this thing right now. Yes! Okay, that was not fun, and there's thunder going on, so I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a lot of thunder going on, so now watch the electric go off. That'll be perfect, because it probably won't even save the video.
That's a big ugly lobster. But anyway. So if the electric goes off, I doubt it'll save the video, and then this will all be for naught. Okay, so now we gotta go back down. Uh, get off the roof, woman. Alright. Yeah, these vistas, um... I'm not liking them. I'm not liking them. No, I'm not. And she doesn't have her fall trait yet, so I'll probably die if I go down there. Yeah, I'll probably die if I go down there. Alright. Yeah, because they refuse to give her a decent trait line to start with. So she doesn't have her fall damage trait. So that would probably hurt a lot. Okay. Oh, now you want me to go this way. You know what, game? You need to make up your frickin' mind. Already hurting my head. Stupid annoying vistas. And we got thunderstorms going on, so I could lose the whole frickin' video anyway. But that's fine, that's fine. My throat's killing me, but all good, all good. Sanctum Harbor Waypoint. Moran Memorial. That sounds awful close to Moron Memorial, but okay. Let's go look at the Moran Memorial. Go read this plaque, because I know I don't have many left to read. Yep. Alright. Mako's Landing. No, I can't read New Crichton, so let me take a screen cap and translate it. Thanks, okay, bye. <laughs> Mako's Landing. Up the stairs, gonna go up the stairs? Just swimming around at the pier. Perfectly normal behavior, especially when you're fully dressed in metal armor. Okay. The breach maker. That's underwater, or at least it used to be. Who knows where the hell it is anymore? <laughs> swim, mini scritter claws, swim! Woohoo! He's such a good swimmer. Okay. Alright, and there's another vista. Yay. Because the last two were so fun. I had to get help from Hair Flip Rage Quit the Char. <laughs> and walk around on the roof for an hour and do high wire acts. Oh, it's underwater. Good. I might be able to get to that one. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows anymore? Oh, there it is. I see it. That one's pretty much the same as it used to be. I guess they didn't reconstruct underwater as much as overwater. Overwater? Of water on land, something. Anyway, have a vista. <laughs> you know, I just relearned the trashed LA. And now you're making me relearn it again. I tell you, game, the nerve. Yeah, pretty much the same as it was before. Six out of eleven vistas. Oh, goody. Five more of these horrible things. Okay. Swim, swim. Still not even close to leveling. What else is new? Alright. Mm -hmm. And how do I get up here? How do I get out of the water? <laughs> I've hurt my brain enough for one day on these other stupid vistas and weird graphical glitches like that. Let me up! Let me up! Let me up! You are an evil game. Let me walk around a rock. I tell ya. I'm determined to figure out which plaque I'm missing, I swear. There's one, I think one, that I'm missing. I think I read this one before because of story. Alright, now where? Muruku Village. Well, that sounds suspiciously Quaggan esque. Gee, I would. But it's underwater. I think it actually is the same. That one. Because I think there was some stupid Quaggan village underwater before. Yep, that's it. So the underwater stuff is the same. That's about it. Mist portals. That's where you come out of PvP when you're trying to take shortcuts, isn't it? Surprised she doesn't have that. Okay. All kinds of noise going on, even though I have a sign up saying be quiet, but okay. Alright. 
All right. I haven't even checked the microphone. This could have been all staticky this whole entire time. Won't that be fun? Um, missed portals. Up, 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 somewhere. I see them. Gain my POI. I see them. Okay. Alrighty. Jeez. Correctly get on top of it. Alright. Vigil Center House. Okay. Isn't this a fun guided tour? Or unguided tour? <laughs> Do they still have the stupid moose in here? You still got your stupid moose? I don't see the stupid moose. Fine. What do you do with your moose? What are you doing? Does it appear to be nap time? <sighs> Some people. I'll tell ya. Oh, he's a Norn. He's probably hungover. I'm allowed to say that. I play like 10 Norn. 11. 11 Norn. Or I will play 11 Norn when I make my Norn Revenant. So I got 10 right now. But anyway. Blood Kissed Ward. Oh yay, another Vista. So feel free to take a nap for the next three hours and I'll like talk more loudly when I finally figure out how to get to the next Vista. Oh, it's the same as it was before. Yeah, this one's still the same. Pretty much, it looks like it's still the same. The same as Wrecked Lion's Arch. Alright. Yeah, this one's the same. Oh god, I still get the one by the freaking jumping puzzle. Ugh. That's probably the next one. Yes, and they changed the jumping puzzle too. The Shark Mark Caverns jumping puzzle. There's a lot more spikes now. And the only reason I know that is because I got dragged through the stupid Karka hunt and like six of them are in there. Horrible. Horrible. Horrible! And I, like, picked up a torch by accident when I was looking for Karka in there. And we got to the dark room part. And then I got rid of my gun. So I had to go all the way back and get the gun. But luckily I was with a mesmer and he's just like, I'll just port you to the end because otherwise I would have had to do the whole damn thing all over again. I've never made it further than the dark room in that stupid thing. <clears throat> that thing always screws me up. <coughs> Tox mill. Yep. Yep. That's where we're going next. The freaking jumping puzzle one. And no, without her fall damage trait, that will probably really, really kill her. Uh, might be able to make make that jump. Mm. Well, I went forward before I planned to, so if I wasn't going to make the jump, oh well. That would have been fun and exciting for everyone. Waterfall. So this part looks pretty similar to the way it used to look. This little corner. <clears throat> So yeah, now we get to go find the hidden vista. That one I don't think it's ever changed. Um, the one by Sharkma Caverns. If there's still a vista there. I don't even see it on the map, but then again, who knows. But yeah, it was the same in original LA and wrecked LA. Oh, someday. Someday I'll learn how to walk in the right direction, I swear. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> Tuck's mill. Is there still a vista up here? Yes, there is. So why the hell are you telling me to go to Far Shore Waypoint when there's a vista up here? You stupid game. Try to lead me astray. I can do that on my own. I lead myself astray all the time. So we're gonna go get this stupid vista. Oh, now you remembered it. Thanks, game. Stupid hidden vista. Which is always a pain in the butt to get to. Um, yeah, let me throw! Stupid weeds and rocks are all evil. I dislike all of you. Good, you go first, Mr. Norn. Hey, look at that. He knows where to go to. They did make it slightly easier to get up there, though. They made the chump was a harder. Yeah, it was harder to get up there before. Shut up! I ain't doing your jump 
Oh, you can't make me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Watch, that guy will go in there. He'll hit one of the extra spikes and die. And he'll be expecting me to go in there and save him. And it ain't happening. It ain't happening. No. You're in a jumping puzzle. Just expect to be dead. It's a jumping puzzle. See, you dead on the map yet. Maybe you got lucky and hit the right stupid. Kids just wander around like 
kids are all dang day. No parents in your sight.
course I'm falling down. I told you to turn around, not walk off. Ugh. I hate pistols. I really, really, really hate pistols. Um, let's walk around here again, see if I missed anything. Yeah, this is where I was. two more times. Yay. But I'm sure they'll find some stupid point of interest that's impossible to get to, too, or something. Okay. Field of the Fallen. Yay. So that wasted a good hour and a half, right? Okay. The thing is, it's easier to get to now. It seriously is. It's easier to get to now. Another black. Watch, that'll be the one I need. Nope. All 
right now. How the hell do I get back out here? <coughs> yeah, it's pretty, but... Yeah. Okay. This is especially fun when the tin doesn't have to fall damage straight. Alright. What this does it tell me to get to next? Oh, that stupid one in the cave. I wonder if it's any different. That one, sometimes I can do it no problem. Sometimes it takes me like seven years. I don't know. Let's see if I can even figure out how to get into the cave. Is that a ladder? Okay, I call BS. They are able to make ladders. Now let's actually be able to use them. It would make this just much easier. Grits. I'm holding one of your own hostage. What the fuck is? I dressed him up with a board scarf and everything. Okay, anyway. Yeah, this one's still the same. And like I said, sometimes I do it no problem. Sometimes it takes me seven and a half years. And it's dark too, so that helps. What the hell was that called? What the hell was that called? Ugh. On my last nerve. Yes, you are. Just jump on the rock. On the rock. Oh. She was on it. She seriously was on it. And then she said, oh no, I'm going to be annoying and just jump back off of it. Get up there and stay up there. Oh, God. This should not be this hard. It's going to be one of those days that it takes me seven years to do it. Alright, interesting. Well, 
Let's go for another swim. Uh, um, um. It actually should be called Old Old Lion's Arch. Old 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 Lion's Arch. It's like three Lion's Arches ago. It's like the Guild Wars 1 Lion's Arch. I never played Guild Wars 1. Alright, this fist is most likely the lighthouse. Yeah, thanks for linking a bunch of useless crap. That's nice of you. It's not distracting or annoying at all. <laughs> Woohoo! That is a big lighthouse. I had to go to the top because my friend wanted to do the diving spot and I died anyway. Because I hit a rock. But it took forever to get up there. Can I get up there from over here even? Probably not. That would make things too easy. No. I have to walk seven miles to get up here. Bridge. I'm a red hot chili cover song. Okay, um, I need to be up on top of the bridge, not under the bridge. Oh, come on, you can walk up that. Seriously? You're gonna give me crap about walking up that ledge. Okay, that's wonderful. I walked down that ledge before without a problem, but apparently I can't walk up it. Screw this crap. Shh! Screw it! Screw it! I don't care anymore! This better not be a really long living screen. Come on, come on. Yay! It didn't take the seven years. That's how long all the living screens used to be. In the good old days. <coughs> Lady Lace voice. When I started playing Guild Wars 2, Loading screens were three seconds long. <laughs> they seriously were. They seriously were. Oh, I don't know what the hell happened. Okay. Holding ground, holding ground. You can fill that in when you rebuild everything. Alright. So it's going to take me two hours to get to the top of this. There's not any jumps or anything. It's just that freaking high. No, I'm not getting a speed boost because I'll probably walk up the edge as it is. I'm just that good at things such as this. I've never been afraid of heights, but I think I get nervous. <laughs> I see my chin getting higher and higher. I'm so bad at jumping, I'm just like, uh oh. Definitely gonna fall now because it'll kill me. Actually, we're above the water, so I might live instead. Then again, as a diving spot. <laughs> above the water, but I still managed to find a rock to hit. Okay. This is about the only time mouse movement is actually better than WASD. I used to love mouse movement in World of Warcraft. But in this, jumping's impossible when you use mouse movement. There's the diving glass. Where the frick's the wrist at? Oh, there's the wrist. So if I put on the diving glass, <laughs> I managed to hit the frickin' rock again. That would be wonderful. This should be the last wrist up. Should be. This one tall freaking lighthouse. Woohoo! Finish the map and level up on the last vista. You know, I was almost like it was timed. Seriously. I was crazy. Give me my trans charge. Alright. I know, I know. You want to see me do the dive? Die. I get for level. Crap. Yay, level 25. Level 
let's celebrate by jumping off this thing and dying. Look at how glowy she is. She's radioactive. She's glowing green. Alright. See if I can kill myself again. Because that'll be fun. This sucks. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Woohoo! I lived. Yay. Alright. So wasn't that fun and exciting. lived just barely. Look how close those freaking rocks were. So, we'll do the beach goodbye. So that was the new Lion's Arch. All of it mapped except like the first few things you have just by going to the bank. So anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me struggle and suffer trying to do stupid freaking misses. But anyway, I guess that's it for now. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye all.